Hey there, Aries. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be just a general message. If there's information here that helps you, go ahead and take that. If none of this helps you, though, just try a different message, okay? We're going to start with the message of love oracle cards. See what we get for Aries. Please and thank you. Balance. Protected. Second chance. more please decision twin flame does the twin flame deserve a second chance or not I have one person here that is hoping to protect this connection, to work on this connection, to balance it back out. And then I have another person here who is deciding whether or not they also want to do that. One person knows that they want to and the other person is debating it. And we're talking about your twin flame. Okay. Let's see what the Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart or Naked Heart Tarot? I think it's Naked Heart Tarot, anyways. Balance and Protected, please. The Sage. Okay, so I feel like this person is spiritual. I feel like this person is educated. I feel like they are aware that you guys have a very intense soul connection. They may be using the term twin flame. They might not be though. I feel like that term in the collective is one of the most controversial terms because there are some people that believe it. There are some people that don't. And then there's a lot of different ideas on what the twin flame actually is. So I try kind of not to like Notice I'm not super excited like other readers might get when it comes out because of that controversy. So, like, I try not to, I, I leave that loose for you to do what you need to do with that. There's the naked heart. That's the bonus card in this deck. So, it's the naked heart tarot. <laughs> That's funny. The sage and the naked heart. Yes, yeah, somebody definitely wants to purify, unconditionally love, forgive. Um, a lot of that empress energy, that mothering energy where you want to, you know, fix the boo-boos. Kiss it and make it feel better, that kind of stuff. Um, so it could be the feminine over here that's wanting to work on this connection. Doesn't necessarily have to be, and that does not mean it's the woman, okay? Especially for any uh, same gender relationships. Let's see what second chance and decision. What is this person, like, where are they at with all this right now? What's going through their head? What's going, like, what, how's their heart feeling? Are they leaning towards a decision on a yay or a nay here? What do we need to know? What do we need to know, please? What does Aries need to know? Keep in mind, this could be you. Oh, that was the five of wands. It went right back in. I'm not going to go digging for it. But, so yeah, this person's just conflicted. They're all, oh, they're feeling pulled in a couple different directions. Like, they have reasons why this would work, and then they have reasons why they're scared to try it again. Ten of wands sideways. So they do want to remove the blockages, the um, baggage. The drama is kind of what I want to say. The drama, the lovers. Oh. <laughs> is that the universe? Yes, it is. Look, the universe. 
the lovers peeking out. So what cycle are we ending? Are we ending the way we've been acting and now we're going to treat each other differently to better this connection, to work on this? Or is the cycle of trying to work on this connection the one that's getting wrapped up? It's a big major decision here. Which cycle are you ending? Which chapter are you closing? What is it that's coming to an end? And what kind of a new beginning are you looking for here? Because there's going to end up being closure either way. Whether you guys move forward differently, moving differently, um, or you just move forward without each other altogether. Like this, this is, uh, yeah, judgment. It's a final judgment call. Sky Father, holy shit. That's the emperor. See? So I do get the feminine is wanting to work on this and the masculine is just kind of deciding. Yeah, they're gathering more information. The innocence is the page. And then the ace of swords with the page of swords, they're gathering more information. They also might feel like there's definitely something missing because the magician speaks about having everything you need to cultivate what you want, to build what you want, to create what you're trying to create and all that, right? But the Five of Cups is talking about lack, loss, sorrow, right? So it's either feeling like, feeling like it's hard to be everything that the feminine needs this masculine to be or maybe feeling like they just don't have it to give to the feminine. Not that she doesn't deserve it, just that they question whether or not they can deliver, right? It could be the other way around though. You know, maybe the mat, uh, the, the feminine, um, I mean, it's a fucking relationship, right? It takes two. You both made mistakes because you're both having a human experience. It's not about pointing the finger though at all, but it is about not wanting to get hurt and not wanting to hurt the other person either. It's, I feel like you guys are really not just looking at this as what do you want, but also what is the best decision to make as far as both of us in this connection are concerned. It's not just about how you feel or about how they feel, but it's also about, yeah. I mean, there's three different aspects, uh, angles that you have to look at this before you really have a decision. The masculine is simply taking his time and making this decision. Is he working on coming up with an answer? Absolutely, yes. But like I said, it's, it's, it's either needing to see something within, like really believing it, or it's, I'm going to need you to like, show me, say it, prove it. Um, I've got a couple more questions or, well, what would the solutions for this be? Because that's also something we haven't discussed yet, right? Like there's more discussion. There's more information here that the masculine feels they need before they can make that final decision. Okay. All right. So let's grab from the animal spirit work. Wow. Uh, embrace the in-between flamingo spirit at the bottom of the deck. I'm not even surprised. This is. It's an in-between phase. Because the feminine, for the feminine. Well, I guess for the masculine and this connect for all of them. Right? Take the lead. Yeah, somebody, it's it's up to the masculine energy here. Um, whoever harnesses this masculine energy, it looks like now it's up to you to take the lead and kind of, you know, say where this might go. For Aries, keep in mind if you're single, this could be your inner feminine, your inner masculine, and then like your inner child as well. So, like, this would be something that you really want to get started, but at the same time, wow, and as I said that. At the same time, you still have just a couple more questions or loose ends to wrap up. And as I said that, we have Grasshopper Spirit. Take this leap of faith. Jump. The universe is going to catch you. And it landed right on the information. So you, oh, the masculine. That's so hard for me to have to say to people, though. So the masculine energy might feel like they need more information. They're either receiving the information they need to take the leap forward and make that final decision or 
this masculine might not have all the information they need by the time they decide to just make that decision because they're already leaning more towards one side. But that's to be determined. Yeah, Buffalo Spirit. The, the abundant universe will provide Buffalo Spirit. Getting that in a reading alone is some pretty magical, seriously magical shit. Yeah, life is a mystery. Whoa. Yeah, I guess expect the unexpected with this one. I don't think I'm really allowed to say if they're going to say yes or if they're going to say no. Yeah, because this goes both ways. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. So for some of you, it's, it's going to be painful or it's just painful waiting on the edge of your seat. Like, what's it going to be? What are they going to say? And then frog spirit and surrender about clearing out the clutter, surrendering the clutter and letting it go. For some of you, this is, you know, it might be painful watching this person move all their things out and separating, but it could also just, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have this painful discussion and we're gonna talk about the things that it's kind of hard to talk about so that we can surrender it and really just clear the air so we can move forward. I'm not allowed to say. Elephant spirit. Either way, we're learning the lessons. We're learning from the past. I don't think it necessarily... It's hard for me to say this, but like in the spiritual side of things, I don't think it much matters if you guys stay or separate because either way, you both learned what you needed to learn. So the potential is there for you to stay together, but there's also potential in still being happy and going separate ways and maybe even being in contact with each other like i don't know physically it fucking matters for sure emotionally it matters for sure but spiritually this really could ideally go either way i mean and it's kind of nice because we have free will down here so either way you you're gonna be good you're gonna be set masculine feminine there's just a lot of things to take into consideration with this one. So it's it's kind of uh, nerve-wracking because there's a lot on the line um, physically, third-dimensionally speaking. Let me grab a positive affirmation to wrap for you guys. Oh, wow, 1234, 1, 2, 3, 4. I actually saw 1233, which is 333, three, and then boom, 1, 2, 3, 4. How cool is that? Um, real quick, we have Virgo, Gemini, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Taurus, and Taurus. There's a lot of animals here as well. You do have the Akashic Records. it's funny for those of you that can channel the akashic records i feel like you're going to the akashic records and you're going to get you're going to receive both sides like you might get bits and pieces of what it looks like if y'all stay together but then you're also getting bits and pieces on what happened it's like the divine has a plan either way you're going to be okay however this breaks down life is going to make sure it works itself out if that makes sense i hope that brings you some kind of comfort I, I would like to have done more here, but it's not a personal reading. I got to remember that. Wow, feminine. Holy shit. Surrender and release. I cannot make this up. I'm reading both of them. Okay, so feminine. A soft strength, an intuitive knowing, a sultry dance. This, my dear, is your feminine. Feel the essence of her divine subtle power. She lives within you, always knowing exactly what you need what you need to do or where you need to go. She is within you, my love, begging for you to soften and dance in her ways. Do no doubt her, do not doubt her, dear one. There is no need to shy away, for there is a wisdom in this grace that will never lead you astray. Oh my gosh. And then surrender and release says, that thing you're holding onto so tightly with an iron grip fist, let it go, breathe in, gathering up the dust from every corner of your body until you no longer feel it lurking deep within the depths of your soul. 
I have to pause for a second. This is reminding me, if you've already done everything you can to achieve your, uh, your um, objective, your goal, your outcome that you looked for, you've done everything, let go and let it do what it needs to do, okay? And if it's not exactly how you wanted it to be, take note of how this might actually work out better, right? I'm feeling that so heavy with this reading, okay. Um, pause at the top of your breath and release it on a long exhale. A steady breath out, pause again, and ask, can you surrender to the final outcome? Can you surrender how things, to how things come back to you? Can you surrender to the knowledge that may not? Oh my gosh, this is crazy accurate, yo. Surrender to all possibilities, accepting that what's in store is greater than anything you could ever imagine. Surrender to your one and watch how you rise. This on everything. I feel like I could have just pulled these two cards instead of channeling everything that I just channeled. It was all right there. Um, but that's just, I guess, proof that this stuff is real. Um, in case anybody needed to know, yeah, that, that it's, it's real. Um, I'm seeing a lot of fives, a couple tens, three tens, four. Ten of wands, Two in the judgment, buffalo and frog spirit. Oh shit, and wasp spirit. All that. So one, two, three, four, five, six different tens. I mean, definitely ending some major shit here. But I gotta go because we definitely went over our time. Oopsies. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you when I see you. And until then, stay beautiful.